Good afternoon. By the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, I declare this congregation open for the conferment of degrees and the presentation of graduates. Good afternoon and hello Gateshead. I can't hear you, not even a little bit. Come on, good afternoon. Hello, I'm Martha and I'm your Chancellor and I'd like to welcome you all to this fabulous ceremony this afternoon. A very important ceremony, not only because you're all here, our amazing graduates, but also because it's the last Open University ceremony of this year, so we have to make some serious noise, but I'll come back to that in a minute. I'd also really like to welcome Pauline Dillon, who is the um, mayoress of the... No, mayor... But, well, I've given the title wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've given her title wrong. Mayor of Gateshead, Councillor Pauline Dillon, and also our very distinguished honorary graduate, Richard Spencer, who you'll hear from later in the ceremony. During the last year, the Open University has given away 20,000 degrees to incredible students like you. So you are now part of a network of people that spread all over the country, from Edinburgh to Birmingham to Southampton to London. So feel part of that incredible family. And it shows just the amazing scale and reach of the institution to which you belong, and the dedication and incredible perseverance of all the people that complete their degrees, often in very difficult circumstances. It's very, very important to be able to have a moment and reflect on your achievement. So to begin that, can I ask everyone who is able to do so and who is collecting a degree today to stand up and can we all give them a first round of applause to practice? Can I stand up? Okay, okay. That, do you know what? I, I do a lot of ceremonies and that was really not very good. This is, you're in Gateshead, it's the last ceremony of the year. These are amazing students. Can we please make a lot more noise? <laughs> That's, That's much better, okay. Okay, better. that's better. But I'm going to be, I am deadly serious. I'm going to be very disappointed if there isn't a lot of whooping and cheering when the graduates come across the stage. Please sit down, you don't have to stand up anymore. Um, this is a very special day and we want to honour you and also honour all the incredible people that have helped you get here, from your teachers to your support networks to your families. So please enjoy it. It's a formal occasion, but it should feel one that is a huge celebration. So I'm going to explain to you a bit about how the ceremony is going to run. It's going to begin with the presentation of graduates who've gained higher degrees and first degrees of Bachelors of Arts, Engineering and Law and have been able to come. And they're going to be presented by Steve Clark, Director of Students Success in the Faculty of Business and Law. Then we're going to give um, Richard his honorary degree and he will be given it by Nick Braithwaite, Associate Dean in the Faculty of Science, Technology and Engineering. And uh, we'll hear from Richard after he's received his degree. And then we'll finish the ceremony with presentation of graduates, those who've gained a Bachelor of Science degree, Foundation degree, higher education, and have been able to come here today. And to finish the ceremony, I'll just end with a few thoughts from the Open University and one last massive whoop of noise, I think. So without further ado, I ask the clerk to open the ceremony. Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to attend here today. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, I present to you with a thesis entitled Work-Based Learning Roots in Social Work Education and Exploration of Student Experiences, Ruth Hamilton. And 
for a thesis entitled Global Energy Minimization of Arterial Trees with Application to Embolic Stroke, Jonathan Keelan. For the degree of Doctorate in Education, I present to you for a thesis entitled The Nature and Role of Social Presence in Audiographic Synchronous Online Language Learning Contexts, Joanna Freum. <laughs> I present to you for the degree of Master of Arts in Art History with distinction, I present Alan Norris. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Art History, I present Kathleen Salisbury. For the degree of Master of Arts in Childhood and Youth, I present Jennifer Tate. For the degree of Master of Arts in Education, I present Mandy Jane Lace. For the degree of Master of Arts in English with distinction, I present Jane Marklew. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Music with distinction, I present Nick Curley. For the degree of Master of Arts in Music, I present Rebecca Poughton. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Business Administration, I present Jane Carlyle. <laughs> Fabrice Dier. <laughs> Gary Ewing. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Education, I present Amanda Siddle. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Advancing Healthcare Practice, I present Judith Chola Chongo. For the degree of Master of Science in Advancing Healthcare Practice, I present Vicky Ewart. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Advancing Healthcare Practice, I present Kim Osafred. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Mathematics, I present Philip Lang. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Medicinal Chemistry, I present Barry Kelly. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Science, I present Philip Child. <laughs> Etain Stobbert. <laughs> Chancellor.
I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Law degrees and have been able to attend here today. The full subject details are printed in the insert within the ceremony programme. I present for the degree of Bachelor of Arts with First Class Honours, Kate baganall -Low. Stephen Barber. <laughs> Hazel Bell. <laughs> Pauline Collier. <laughs> Charlotte Creasy. Verity Douglas. <laughs> Philip Earnshaw. <laughs> David Gray. <laughs> Adam Hansraj. Stephen Havlin. <laughs> Jasmine Hillaby. <laughs> Elizabeth Hurd. Jacqueline Keynes. <laughs> Andrea Lenson. <laughs> Sue Lister. <laughs> Tracy Pearson. Bobby Sue Ryder. <laughs> David Smith. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, I present Hayley Aitchinson. <laughs> Miles Appleton. <laughs> Victoria Ballantyne. <laughs> Mihaela Barrett. Bensley. <laughs> Gail Best. <laughs> Michael Bird. Lucy Blaylock. <laughs> Richard Boddy. <laughs> Jojo Bottrill. <laughs> Claire Bradshaw. <laughs> Claire Bradshaw. 
Corey Bryden. Nicola Budding. Jake Churchill. Simon Clark. Corinne Colenzo. Laura Collings. Matthew Cook. Valerie Coral. Keith Coulter. Mark Cryer. Jareth Denny. Eleanor Dickinson. Dixon. Adam Driscoll. Paul Edwards. Pauline Elliott. Anna Evans. Barbara Evans. Mark Faraha. Helen Fuchs. Sarah Forster. Chenjira Foster. Ian Foster. Smith. Mary Goodall. Susan Graham. Kirsty Gray. Denise Greatrix. <laughs> Catherine Gray. <laughs> Martin Griffith. <laughs> Nicola Hall. Emma Hamill. (laughs) 
Gareth Hand. <laughs> Dawn Hartshorn. <laughs> Bryn Haswell. Ashley Heron. <laughs> Laura Hetherington. <laughs> David Higginbottom. Sophie Eiley. <laughs> Barbara Jackson. <laughs> Lauren Jarvis. Victoria Yashkovitik. <laughs> Catherine Jenkinson. <laughs> Carolyn Jessup. Alex Jones. <laughs> Gary Jones. <laughs> Chris Landless. <laughs> Roger Lawrence. John Lewis. <laughs> Jonathan Little. <laughs> Chris Lord. <laughs> James Lord. Naila Maboob. <laughs> Stuart Martin. <laughs> Jackie Massey. <laughs> James McGill. Stephanie McNary. <laughs> Katie Mountain. <laughs> Jill Mutt. <laughs> Kat Myers. Christopher Nichols. <laughs> Lisa Oliver. <laughs> Lee Parry. <laughs> Heather Patterson.
<laughs> Robert Peel. James Pickering. Andrea Porter. Quarry. Peter Rivers. Graham Robinson. Peter Rook. Claire Ruddock. Paul Sharp. Matt Shearer. Ian Spohr. Richard Stevenson. Christopher Stewart. Pia Swales. Victoria Tanner. <laughs> Michael Taylor. <laughs> Mark Teasdale. <laughs> Sarah Thompson. Francis Tiltman. <laughs> Samantha Turner. <laughs> Amanda Wade. Wade. <laughs> Wilson Wangai. <laughs> Amy Wareham. Andrea Waters. <laughs> Lee Wedge. <laughs> Dave.
Steve Welsh. <laughs> Fran White. <laughs> Nicole White. Bridie Wilkinson. Alison Williams. Michael Williamson. Karen Willoughby. Rebecca Wilson. Carly Rose Wood. Pamela Wood. Suzanne Yates. <laughs> Leslie Young. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, I present Barbara Caton. Pascal de Camarmond. <laughs> Thomas Hugill. Sharon Holmes. <laughs> Kay Kendall. <laughs> Catherine Le Prevost. Lindsay McKee. <laughs> Paul O'Connor. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with First Class Honours, I present Jeff Henderson. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, I present John Brown. <laughs> Stephen Sudez. <laughs> Mark Wood. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with First Class Honours, I present Mark Forrester. <laughs> Carrie Matthews. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, I present Jamie Armstrong. Nicola Cheatham. Monica.
Rebecca Hammond. <laughs> Jennifer Harrison. <laughs> Gillian Henry. <laughs> Michelle Jackson. <laughs> Rhys Johnson. Nicole Malcolmson. <laughs> Abigail Nicholson. <laughs> Tatiana Nagaeva. <laughs> Gwendolyn Peary. And Emily Rushton. Chancellor, colleagues, graduates and guests. Dr. Richard Spencer is one of the nation's most extraordinary teachers whose innovative approach to education inspired generations of students in the Northeast and continues to do so. And his reputation now reaches far beyond these shores. Richard studied biology at the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology before undertaking a PhD in molecular biology at the Northeast Biotechnology Center. After postdoctoral work in salmonella genetics at Sunderland University, Richard turned to a tougher challenge, how to kindle curiosity in the minds of adolescents. He retrained as a secondary school teacher at Durham University to make a direct and practical impact on future generations of scientists. For more than 20 years, he was a teacher at Beads College, Billingham, before moving to Middlesbrough College, where he is now head of science. Making science education as accessible and memorable as possible is the hallmark of Richard's approach. He is indeed well known for quite literally making a song and dance out of biological processes. The DNA boogie, for example, asks students to act out the parts of the nucleotide and the double helix structure to the tune of the Jackson 5's Blame It on the Boogie. <laughs> Other dancers teach students about the behavior of chromosomes, the stages of mitosis, and the process of respiration. This physical approach to learning helps students to visualize and remember the science. Singing and dancing are just one way in which Richard commits to making every single lesson enjoyable and engaging. He combines traditional experiments, fieldworks, and simulation with e-learning, role play, and games to appeal to the different learning styles and to keep students engaged. Richard is greatly in demand at national and international conferences on learning, pedagogy, and teacher training, and he has developed many online resources that help other teachers to develop their own creative approaches. Richard's achievements have been recognized by, teach by the teaching profession and the scientific community. He holds chartered teacher status with the Association of Science Education and Science Council, and he is an elected fellow of the Royal Society of Biology, where he holds chartered biologist status. Richard was highly commended for the Salters Prize for teaching chemistry and has won two national star awards 
Further Education Teacher of the Year and Outstanding Subject Learning Coach, and has twice won a National Best Lesson Award. In 2013, he was a runner-up in the Royal Society of Biology's Teacher of the Year. In 2015, Richard was a top 10 finalist in the inaugural Global Teacher Prize, informally known as the Nobel Prize for Teaching, the only teacher from Europe to reach the finals. The prize was established by the Varkey Foundation, chaired by Bill Clinton, to recognize outstanding teachers worldwide. Appointed an MBE for Services to Scientific Communication, Richard was on the Science Council's 2014 list of 100 leading UK practicing scientists. Recently, he was a member of a team that won the International PISA for You School Improvement Programme Award for learning resources in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, presented by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. And he was named a Quadwa, or Role Model Fellow, at the Quadwa Global Teachers Forum in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Chancellor, by the authority of the Senate, I present to you for the honorary degree of Master of the University, Dr. Richard Spencer. I don't know why I've got these notes because I haven't brought my glasses, so I can't see. Um, first of all, thank you, uh, Professor uh, Braithwaite, for that lovely citation, and Prof um, Baroness um, Lane Fox for presiding over today's ceremony, and for he everyone who's helped to organise today. I'm sure you agree it's a fantastic venue and uh, an absolutely fabulous event. Can I extend my congratulations to everybody who has achieved a degree, a master's, or a PhD today. Um, my wife is in the second year of her Open University degree, so I know firsthand just how much work is involved with all the assignments, uh, often people working full time and you know, completing these evenings and weekends. So a huge well done to you all and to all the people who've supported you with your, um, with your studies as well. Um, I would have to say that I've only got one assignment to do for from, from my master, so I'm very lucky. Um, I'll try not to go over the word count too much, uh, nor the time limit. So th this is it, my one and only chance. Um, from Professor Braithwaite's ad address, you probably guessed that I didn't intend to be a teacher when I was 17. All I knew was that I loved biology and that I wanted to do something with biology and was lucky enough to have parents who really valued education and encouraged me as they did my six siblings to go to university to study. Um, I then continued down the track of academia, um, PhD, postdoctoral research, and then I realised I was going down the wrong track. The crunch really came when my PhD supervisor, she called Catherine O'Reilly, called me into her office and she said, Richard, I've walked you watch, walk, watched you walk sorry, 50 yards and it's taken you an hour. She said, all you've done is stop and talk to people. And that's really how I got from test tubes to teaching because I realised that over the years I've changed and I wanted to do something working with people and she gave me my first break actually. Um, she went on maternity leave and entrusted in me uh, her genetics lectures and I absolutely enjoyed them, I thoroughly enjoyed the lectures. Um, but I was more interested in what people had done before at school to how they got to uh, university in the first place. So I decided to train as an 11 to 18 teacher and took up my first post in, back in my hometown of Billingham. Um, I soon realised that being a teacher in your hometown is a bit like being a celebrity without the money. Um, because everybody knows everything that you do. 
Doc, that's what they call me. Um, so you're cutting your grass on Sunday. Doc, so you out on Saturday night. You look like you were having a good time. Um, I'd be served in the shops, in the restaurants, wherever I went. Um, so there was no kind of uh, privacy whatsoever. And quite frankly, I was related to quite a few of the students. And if I wasn't related to them, they knew my siblings, my mum and dad. I remember one day saying to a student, when I'd been there quite a few years, I said, yeah, I know your dad. I said, actually, I know your grandmother. And then I said, actually, I knew your great-grandmother. <laughs> Um, so at that point, um, I, I thought, well, maybe, you know, teaching's a, a, a really great career. And um, I got a book of poems from students. It was actually an anthology by Spike Milligan. And um, it was given as a leaving gift. And in the front it said, thanks for making biology lessons such fun. Thanks spelt with an X, so you know it's authentic. Um, turn to page 121. And there on page 121 was this poem called A-Levels. Those energy-wrought children, their limbs loaded into school desks. In the shadows they are fed, algebra, science, syntax. Outside the ignorant are laughing and playing in the sun. And it really made me think about my lessons and um, to try and get people to maybe move around a little bit more, to change state a little bit, and to have a bit more fun. And I was very lucky in having a fantastic principal called Miriam Stanton. Now, some principals had said, um, I'm thinking of teaching um, meiosis, which is how sex cells are made, through a square dance. You know, they might have said, no, you're not. <laughs> Go look for another job, there's the time's head. Um, but she actually actively encouraged me to, to try these things out, to take risks, and she was a great nurture of her staff. And she was the reason I stayed at Bede College for 22 years. Okay, and when she retired, I knew it was time to move on. But I did become interested in what students think makes a good lesson, and I found out that actually it wasn't fun at all. It's, it's variety, that students enjoy learning in a variety of ways. I'm only sorry that we don't have the space to do the DNA boogie here today. <laughs> um, I can hear a collective sigh of, of relief. But the students do do, do it. I've learned a lot, um, many from my tutor at Durham University, who was incredibly enthusiastic. And one of the most important lessons I learned from her, she's called Diane Emanuel, is that if you're not enthusiastic, then really don't expect anybody else to be. Okay, so the, the, I do, okay, I press gang the students and I don't give them a choice, um, but they enjoy it all the same. So after many years in Pillingham, I decided it was time to work abroad. And... Um, I took up a job in Middlesbrough across the River Tees, <laughs> which for anyone who's from the North East, we know these rivers are big dividing lines. We, we really do know the big dividing lines. Um, so I continued there and uh, I'm still there with, with again being very lucky to have a great principal called Zoe Lewis and my line manager, director of um, A-Levels, Carolyn Yule, who's a former student, which is a very interesting dynamic to have your former student as a boss. She could get her own back big time, believe me, but she doesn't. They give me every opportunity, just as Miriam did, to work in all sorts of projects all over the world, and it is really refreshing. And in the past few years, as Professor Braithwaite mentioned, I was finalist in the Global Teacher Prize. What he didn't mention was what the prize was, and it was actually one million dollars. It's okay, I'm over it now. I, I'm not... <laughs> Um, it was set up by somebody called Sonny Varkey, who, whose parents were, he's, he's a billionaire, but his parents were um, teachers, and he was very concerned about how teachers were being viewed in a negative light. So he wanted to draw attention to the teaching profession. And, okay, I didn't get the million dollars, but the experience has been priceless. I've met great teachers from across the globe, and great teachers I've found are great learners. And they're lifelong learners, and they never think they're at the finished article. So that's been a fantastic experience for me. 
Um, there's just one last thing I'd like to say. I'm grateful to all these people, and when I was putting together this, uh, this address, some people might say when I was throwing it together, uh, but when I was putting it together, um, I realised that a lot, of the uh, a lot of women have influenced my life, really, and have been the nurture nurturers and people who've helped me to achieve what I have. There is woman, one woman I've left out, and that's my wife, Elaine. Okay. Uh, and as she said to me on many an occasion, as now I'm supporting her through her degree, have I ever complained once about you going away? The answer is no, but that worries me a little bit. <laughs> but Elaine, thank you for all your support over the years. Finally, I've got one last thing to say to everybody, which is, I think you're already doing this, but grasp every opportunity that comes your way. I found that, I just say yes to everything, because you never know where things might lead. And I've been dying to say this at conferences over the years, but now in my native northeast, I can actually say it, which is, shy bands, getting out. <laughs> Thank you. Chancellor, continuing the presentation of graduates, I shall now present those who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees, Foundation degrees, and Diplomas of Higher Education, and have been able to attend here today. The full subject details are printed in the insert within the ceremony program. I present for the degree of Bachelor of Science with First Class Honours, Lucy Atkinson. Lisa Cheesborough. <laughs> Catherine Donnelly. <laughs> Judith Dunn. <laughs> Robin Frost. Michael Holgate. <laughs> Anthony Mather. <laughs> Trevor Robinson. Andrew Sheffer. <laughs> Joanne Tolbert. <laughs> Ashley Temperley. Jennifer Trafford. <laughs> Jennifer Trafford. 
Yvonne Tulip. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, I present Dylan Atkinson. <laughs> Cynthia Baller. Kiranjit Ban. <laughs> Kirsten Barnett. <laughs> Hannah Bell. <laughs> Jordan Bell. King Benson. <laughs> David Bishop. <laughs> Heather Bootle. <laughs> Louise Bowley. Hazel Brown. <laughs> Rebecca Brown. <laughs> Rachel Bryan. <laughs> Deborah Buxton. Jill Cherry. <laughs> Sandy Chester. <laughs> Veronica Colling. <laughs> Dawn Collins. Copeland. <laughs> Alison Crawford. <laughs> Simon Daly. <laughs> Cheryl Duval. <laughs> Joanne Dickinson. <laughs> Mark Dowson. <laughs> Stephen Ellis. Rory Farrell. <laughs> Heather Fawcett. <laughs> Peter Fiddler. Vicky Finnamore. <laughs> Julie Firth. <laughs> Anne 
Brayden Geldart. <laughs> Sobiega Four. <laughs> Nicola Harrison. Neil Henderson. John Hewison. Louise Hodgson. Hudson. <laughs> Joshi Johnston. <laughs> Rosemary Jones. Crispin Joseph. <laughs> Michelle Kell. <laughs> Wayne Langham. <laughs> Sarah Lawrence. <laughs> Joseph Linfoot <laughs> Victoria Lishman Louise Lowe. <laughs> Janine Mangum. <laughs> Joseph Marshall. <laughs> Kerry McKee. Lauren Mitchelson. <laughs> Christina Miller. <laughs> Duncan Milligan. <laughs> Ken Oliver. Lisa Parkin. Shan <laughs> <Jan> Patrick. <laughs> and Nika Penrose. <laughs> Karen Pullen. Shona Regan. <laughs> Samantha Remmer. <laughs> Peter.
Mr Reynolds. <laughs> Samantha Roberts. <laughs> Joanne Robinson. Tracy Rochester. <laughs> Linda Rogers. <laughs> Helen Rutter. Emma Ryan. <laughs> Karen Scott. <laughs> Sarah Smiles. Christopher Stables. <laughs> Abby Stokes. <laughs> Adam Stoyle. <laughs> Mark Sykes. Christine Taylor. <laughs> Lorraine Thomas. <laughs> Rachel Thompson. <laughs> Tracy Thompson. Leanne Thompson. <laughs> Sarah van der Kruysen. <laughs> Michael Wall. George Wallace. <laughs> Pauline Warren. Editor Veronska Bowles. <laughs> Aidan Whiteman. <laughs> Andrew Wiles. Deborah Wilkinson. <laughs> Kay Winspear. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science, I present Gary Clues. Michelle El Asal. <laughs> James 
Terence Griffith. Lynn Hall. Anne Hastings Sadler. Susan McLeod. Fraser Murray. Heather Paxton. Nicole Pedder. Sunil Ramachandran. <laughs> Nicholas Sanderson. <laughs> Jonathan Scott. Sorensen, Andrea Styrin, Stefan Szymanski, Andre Wilhelm Ferrandre. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice with Honours, I present Rita Rulland. For a foundation degree, I present Angela Haig. <laughs> Stuart Nicholson. <laughs> Ryan Petty. <laughs> Philippa Rich. Natasha Roberts. <laughs> and for the Diploma of Higher Education, I present Irina Bohansa Jehofenel. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary Egan. Leanne Grimshaw. And Mandy Harcastle. Well, wow, I can tell you categorically that you have very firm handshakes in Gateshead. I definitely think you win the awards for the firmest handshakes. I really do have one of the best roles in the whole world because I get to see all your incredibly uh, excited, emotional, overwhelmed, nervous, or just get me off the stage as quick as possible faces. 
and it's a real honour to meet you all. I mean that sincerely, and I'm sorry I can't have more of a chat. But as you can tell from the small chats I did have, they always finish me off. And I hope that it's not uh, revealing people's indiscretions to you, not indiscretions, that's the wrong word, people's personal secrets if I say that what particularly got me today was the incredibly brave young woman who was fighting cancer while also completing her degree, another woman who dedicated her degree to her son who had died, and a man who had studied for 40 years to get his degree, and a woman who'd studied for 20 years. So you are all extraordinary. Well done. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> woo, woo, woo. And you know what? You know what really makes me laugh is when people talk about part-time learners. Can you please explain to me what is part-time about doing an open university degree? You have to normally run a family, have a job, maybe have two jobs, or you're fighting some terrible disease, or you're in an extremely sad personal situation. I don't think it's part-time. I think it's double time, if not triple time. So <laughs> screw that part-time. <laughs> And it's no surprise how many of you immediately want to tell me about a husband or a wife or a child or a friend that helped you get through your course and finish and complete your degree. So I really think this time, screw all the other times, can we go for maximum noise for the support networks that you brought with you today, all the friends and family who've helped you get to where you are and get across that stage. Really, really big round of applause. deserving so thank you to everyone who has helped the learners get where they have now it's no uh, surprise to all of you how incredible the university that you've just graduated from is it's one of the most extraordinary institutions and something I think we can be very proud of in the UK you know set up back in the 60s with the explicit aim of enabling anybody who wanted to to go to university and that is something that is still right at the core of what the Open University does, using the cleverest, latest technology, using the latest brilliant partnerships, but always with that open access, making it possible for anyone who wants to have an education to do so at any point in their lives, however long it might take them to complete the degree. Now, how many of you here have been watching The Blue Planet? Yes, all of us, right? It's amazing. And I also feel very proud at the end of the Blue Planet when it points to the Open University. It's just one of the millions of different and exciting partnerships that we have as a university. We have so many different ways for you to stay in touch now that you're leaving us. So please don't feel like this is the end of your story with the university. You're going to be part of an incredible alumni network that stretches to many hundreds of thousands of learners all over the UK and all over the world. You'll know about some of the resources already. We've got our Toucan network of people who have become, uh, who've just graduated and who you'll be part of that family of uh, people who've been a part of the university. We've also got lots of uh, resources resources online and other ways that you can continue to be engaged with the university. And maybe you'll even want to do another degree. Just saying. Why not? But most of all, beyond how the connection is that you might keep build with the university, I want you just to look at the motto above all of our heads, to live and to learn. Because that's the core of the Open University, as you know, because you have been living while you've also been learning. Some of you have been living very complicated lives or difficult lives, but you've never wanted to stop learning. I find that very inspiring, but you should take that and remember it, because you've been driven enough to get here, and just as Richard said in his uh, acceptance speech, you have obviously already shown incredible tenacity and determination and curiosity about the world. Don't ever let that go. Because although the mood here in Gateshead is optimistic this afternoon, and although I am an optimistic person, goodness me, we need all you bright sparks to be going out and sorting out the world. We've got massive climate crisis, huge challenges with movements of peoples, massive complex situation with our political systems around the world. We need all of you to continue to learn and to engage and to use what you've learned. So use it well. Don't forget the incredible joy that comes from having achieved what you've done today. 
have a moment of pride, but keep learning whatever you're doing, whether formally or informally, because I really do believe that that curiosity about the world and how it works will enable all of us as humans to move forward and to solve some of the big problems and challenges that we face. So thank you from all of us at the Open University for being such brilliant learners. Thank you to all the support that has come to help with you today. And I hope that you have a spectacular rest of your day. Light up Gateshead with your cheers and whoops even beyond this room. So that's the end of the formal proceedings. We'll now ceremonial, we'll produce our, we'll proceed, sorry, ceremonially off the stage. But it only goes for me to thank all of you for coming and for being such wonderful students.